The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. So we're staying pretty nice and dry, but just up towards our northeast, there's still snow coming through Pennsylvania and New York. Whereas yesterday it was more concentrated further towards the northwest. Today, Philadelphia and New York City itself have gotten a decent amount of that snowfall. But if you have to go through DC, most of that is staying further towards the north for right now. And looking across a lot of the country, most of it's staying dry. There's a little bit of shower and snowy activity as you get towards the Montana Idaho border. But if you are doing any traveling, we're looking at pretty calm conditions for today. If you've got pictures of the weather or of your holiday decorations. We'd love to see either of those. This was a cool holiday display that got sent in. Go to WSLS.com slash pins. That's the easiest way for us to get those onto the air and we would love to keep on seeing those all the way through the season. Most of us still have some wind for today. Not nearly as bad as it was yesterday, but some gusts 20 miles per hour are possible. A lot of those winds are coming in from the southwest as opposed to the northwest, which was constantly dragging in cooler air. That's why we got about a five degree difference between lows and highs in some places. But for today, we are able to warm up more nicely. After starting the day off in the 20s, we end up in the 50s for most of our highs. NRV is at 51, Highlands at 53, Roanoke and Lynchburg both get to 56. We're even warmer on Friday since we continue that trend. Lynchburg gets up to 64, and the NRV, while still in the 50s, is a lot closer to 60 itself than to 50. Now, that warmer air from the southwest is largely coming from the Gulf of Mexico, and that air is going to continue to rise further and further towards the northeast, running into some cooler air from the northwest. And that's going to turn into our rain system that arrives on Sunday. There might be a couple showers very, very late on Saturday, but it looks like most of it waits until Sunday to arrive. That keeps on pressing further towards the east as Sunday goes along. Sunday afternoon is when we're looking at our heaviest rain. With cooler air wrapping around behind that system. There might be some snow in the mountains late in the day going into Monday, but like with that last one, it'll be kind of hard for it to actually stick around at all. And then it's going to clear off towards the east and we're looking at drier conditions after that. Not a lot is going to end up lingering on as we get further into the season. Most of that rain total is going to be concentrated further towards the north and east, but I think most of our region can get one to two inches. Keep checking in with us as we get a little closer towards the rain and we can narrow down which zones are looking at a little bit higher but all of us are going to get at least something, and that will help with the still dry conditions across most of the region. Behind that system, we have a big change in wind. From now all the way through Sunday, they stay pretty calm, but on Monday, they pick up towards 30, 40 miles per hour for gusts, so it's going to feel a lot more like it did yesterday. Now, today, with the calm weather that we have all around, we're able to get a little bit above average. Blacksburg's at 51, Alta Vista at 54, and then we fall back down into the 30s for most of our lows tonight. Roanoke's at 35. We have a couple 20s here and there, like Blacksburg and Martinsville, but we keep on warming over over the next couple of days, bringing us back to the mid 60s on Saturday. Rain comes on Sunday, cools us back down. We've got some lows in the 20s to start off the next work week. Highs are in the low 50s, which probably feels on the cool side, but for this time of year is right around average.